Hello everybody, this is my full guide on Clear Obscure Expedition 33 optimization guide for the PC. There are a couple of different steps, so try not to skip them. Of course, the first step is to download the G4, uh, a new GPU. If you do not have uh, the NVIDIA app, if you're on NVIDIA, I recommend you download it. You go get the drivers from the left hand side. And if you're an AMD, uh, something similar to that as well. Also, uh, if you're on Intel, I recommend you going to the BIOS and updating your BIOS. Uh, Intel uh, 13th and 14th generation do not work well with uh, Unreal Engine 5. Okay, there's a couple of other optimizations within Windows. So let's do them now under search, type in settings. On the left hand side, go to gaming. And from here, go to game mode. And you want to make sure that game mode is toggled on. Now, while you're here in settings on the left hand side, you want to go to system. And from here, you'll see something called display. You want to click on display. And from this thing, uh, go down until you see under related settings, you see something called graphics, click on that. And from here, you'll see a, different, uh, a couple of different options. From here, click on advanced graphic settings. And from here, you're gonna see something called uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling or HAGS. Make sure that this is on. Once you have changed this, you do need to restart the PC. So I recommend you do that. Also, if uh, your monitor can run HDR, I also recommend you turning this on, although this is more of a preference rather than the optimization. Okay, next step, let's uh, change the power plant to high performance mode in Windows. So open control panel from here. From here, go to hardware and sound. And from here, you're gonna see something called power options, click on that. And from here, you're gonna see a couple of different power plans. Now from here, uh, you're gonna see probably balanced uh, high performance and power saver. I have ultimate performance because I'm using Exit Lag, which is an amazing uh, software that uh, boosts FPS in games. I'll put a link in the video description below, by the way, uh, the first three days are free and it is about $5 a month after that. Um, but uh, I recommend by default, uh, if you have exit lag, put it on ultimate performance. But if you do not, uh, put it on high performance and then exit out. Okay, and now let's move on to a couple of features within the game. So let's start the Okay, from this menu, click on settings. Uh, from here, click on graphics. And from here, you're gonna see a display mode. By default, it's probably gonna be bordered or uh, borderless, windowed. This needs to be full screen, um, especially if you're on an AMD card and this is not full screen, your game will lag and stutter very, very badly. Uh, but even if you're on an Nvidia card, I still recommend this to be on full screen. By the way, for M AMD users, uh, you want to disable a couple of features that do not play well with this game. So you want to download the AMD Adrenaline software, uh, disable Radeon Chill and Radeon Image Sharpening. And while we're here, there's a couple of different things that we want to change. Um, scroll down until you see shadows. Shadows need to be medium, uh, even if your graphics card is very good. And post process, this needs to be medium, even if your graphics card is very good. Hit F to hit apply. And uh, let's go back into Windows to change a couple more settings. Okay, the next is gonna be this uh, mod pack, this optimized tweets for this game. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in a uh, pinned comment below. You need to download it by clicking on this little button here. And it's gonna bring you into a download that looks something like this. You open it up, you right click on it, you hit uh, extract all and you hit extract. You need to extract it or else this will not work. You'll have a, a PAQ, PAK file. And now where do you put this PAK file? Uh, you go into the game. This is the same process for uh, Xbox app and uh, Steam. You right click on it, you go manage, you go files, you go browse, and this is the uh, game's installation directory. You click on Claire Obscure Expedition 33 content. Sandfall, uh, content, 
packs and then here uh, it's gonna be a packs folder you want to create a mods folder if you don't have one I do not so you want to right click on here go folder click mods doesn't matter if it's lowercase or not and then you want to uh, drag and drop uh, this into this mods folder and then exit out and uh, make sure and that's exit out and uh, start the game as normal and this will help a lot of uh, different things this will help uh, the game from crashing this will help a lot of lagging and stuttering this basically contains a lot of fixes for UE5 okay let's move on to a couple of fixes for steam users uh, if you're on steam and it is crashing and or lagging you want to uh, find the game in the library right click on it go to properties um, this is kind of strange, but you want to enable Steam Overlay while well in game. Uh, if it is enabled, you want to disable it and then re-enable it. For some reason, uh, this game is weird, uh, but it, it makes it crash and lag uh, unless it is enabled. I do not know why. Uh, they probably need to patch this. The next thing you want to do is under launch options, um, type in dash DX11 uh, to force the game to run in DX11, DirectX11. Uh, DirectX12 and UE5 do not uh, play nicely on a lot of GPUs and this game does run on UE5. This is a well-known fix for a lot of lagging and crashing for this game. Uh, so make sure that uh, this uh, works. By the way, uh, when you are here, uh, go to installed files and click on verify integrity of game files. Uh, basically, this goes through all the game files, find any kind of corrupt files and automatically replace them. This is quite useful. And alternatively, if you're on Game Pass, you can right click on the game, go to manage, go to files and verify and repair does basically the same thing. Okay, uh, we also want to run this game uh, as administrator, disable and full screen optimizations. So uh, again, go back into the installation directory. Go here, content, sandfall, uh, binaries, WinGDK. This will be Win64 on Steam uh, versions, by the way. Um, and then here you'll see the executable. You want to right click on this and hit properties. And from here, you're gonna see a, a couple of different tabs. Click on the compatibility tab. And from here, you want to uh, enable two different things. Disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. Once you have clicked on these two things, hit apply and hit okay. And that is it. If this video helped you, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Have a nice day.